Hmm. Hey friends, Ash here. How's it going? Welcome back to GenSense. Hope you're doing well. So uh, I got in a package from Timu today. What is Timu? Well, it's basically like if you ordered wish.com from walmart.com, you would get Timu. They have lots of products on there for cheap and for good reason, because they're, they're pretty much awful. And believe it or not, they have a wide selection of fragrances on there, fine fragrances. And I decided to go ahead and buy some of those so I could see just how good they are. Yes, yes. If the way they packaged it is any indication, we're in for a real treat. So I bought 14 different fragrances from Timu. One of them, they just refunded me and they were like, oh yeah, sorry, we can't get that one to you. But the other 13, I guess, are all right in here. Today, we're gonna work through some of these Timu fragrances and, and just check out that quality, baby. Yeah, check me out. Uh, like I said, the way they've wrapped it, the way that they have protected these fragile fragrances, just top notch. I also like that there's a bunch of uh, hairs like stuck underneath uh, the tape that they used here. So that's, that's, that's good. Just like some random pubes or something. Ew! So uh, I guess we're just gonna cut into it here and hope for the best. If you are legitimately going on timu.com and shopping for fragrances, what is wrong with you? I guarantee you these fragrances uh, are just chock full of carcinogens. You spray this on your skin and your chance of skin cancer increases uh, 5,000 fold. They are cheap though. Uh, for this entire thing right here, I paid I, I think $90 just over $90. I got a refund for one of them, so it was actually a little bit less than that. Okay, we just about got this open here, and <laughs> it's like there's legitimately no packaging in here whatsoever, no protective anything, no bubble wrap, just they legitimately stuffed as many as they could into this little plastic bag and, and crushed it down in there, so here we go. Let's just go ahead and exercise the demons. Fragrances. We'll take a look at some of the listings and things of these as we work through and figure out which ones uh, I bought. Line these up, shall we? And we'll, we'll work on through them. Forgot how stupid some of these were. Have you ever seen a greater haul of fragrances for under a hundred bucks? I don't think so. So yeah, the boxes are all pretty much beat to crap, which um, not a surprise when you look at how they package them. But you're not exactly paying for quality when you shop at Timu. It is what it is. So we're gonna go with this one first just because I like the name. Most of these you can tell are emulations, inspirations of other fragrances, more popular fragrances. This one I got just because of the name which is Eel Ho. Are you trying to say bros before hoes? It just kind of, you know, catches your attention when you see that name, Eel Ho. Uh, by the way, if you ever place an order with Timu, get ready for about 62,000 emails because they just spam you to death. Hey, so many emails back and forth. So uh, let's go ahead and open this one up and uh, see how it is. Come on, Eel Ho. Don't be like that. Oh my God, finally. Box is wrecked. They threw me down. They broke my wrist. Pheromone Herbal Perfume, 50 mils. It's got a little QR code on there. I don't know if I, I don't know if I wanna scan the QR code. I'm not sure I trust it. Ingredients, grapefruit fruit extract, blue lotus jasmine flower extract, mandrake rose flower oil. Spray the perfume directly on the wrist, behind the ear, neck, and other areas where you want to keep the fragrance and you can naturally emit a charming fragrance. Here is Eel Ho. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it's basically, it's a hairspray bottle. Let's spray this, uh, what the, f what is that? Did that look to you on camera how it looked to me here? Just white globs shooting out everywhere in a very non-controlled manner. I guess, I mean, it's, it's the name is Ilho. I mean, oh, it's awful. It smells like nothing. It smells like the remnants of hairspray. Hairspray perfume. There's no fragrance. Pheromone herbal perfume. This is literal garbage. There's not a person on this earth that could spray that on and be like, dude, I smell great. You smell like very cheap, but lightly scented chemicals. I think I paid around $8 for this or something. They should pay me to take this and just dispose of it. 
How the tables have turned. Well, let's go with uh, this one next. Viking collection. It's like a it's like a baby Zerzhov knockoff. Zerzhov off knockoff. What are you trying to say? I love how they put yellow on white here, so you, you can't really read it. it says a uh, Viking Colo collection, 25 mils. You know, this sounded more fun when I was buying it, or felt like it was going to be more fun than it is right now. Instructions: Before dressing, let the sprayer measure about 20 centimeters away from the body and spray out. Spray the wider the better, then stand in the mist five points, or perfume, to the air. Spray widely and walk slowly through the mist so they all let the perfume spoon fall on the body, on the body, leaving a faint fragrance. Let me see if I can like, if you could zoom in on that. Let's check out the Viking collection. I have high expectations. Something about the cellophane, <laughs> very difficult to remove from these. Get away, come out. What the hell is that? To be fair, this was only $6.29. It somehow feels like it shouldn't cost that much when it's in your hand. It somehow feels worse. I don't know how that's possible, but it does. All right, tiny Zerzhov bottle. Let's spray you out. Let's see how the Vikings smell. The Vikings. It smells better than Ilho, so <laughs> that's something. It smells um, vaguely like a fragrance. It smells kind of spicy, like cheap cinnamon, uh, like cinnamon powdered dust with like a woody closet undertone. But better than Ilho. Oh, warm kiss. I'm sure that'll be good. Warm, 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 cold. This is the weirdest thing about this uh, whole experience. You order fragrances, right? And you get stuff in that doesn't look like what you ordered. So I'm looking through the, the order here right now on my phone and uh, I, I, I don't see warm kiss anywhere. What? Sometimes it's just what you need. That's great when you order stuff and then they're like, ah, screw it, man. Just send them something else, something different. Send them a warm kiss, he'll like that. Quality. Quality is unmatched. This is that like uh, super garbage cellophane that just evaporates into tiny pieces as you try to pull it off because it's just so cheap. See that? You pull it at all and just little pieces flake off. Ah! I can't even get it off the frigging box because it has become fused. It has fused to the box. It doesn't matter. I'm just, can I get the top open? Okay. Okay, so I did order this. <laughs> this is the picture actually. Warm kiss. Oh no, it's my warm kiss. Actually, the model looks not too bad, right? This is uh, an obvious ripoff of uh, Mr. Burberry, but yeah. The cellophane is a nightmare. Like that stuff is awful. They took the heat gun a little bit too hard to it and it fused the box itself, but this bottle looks okay. So let's see. Ooh, the atomizer is not garbage. Oh, that's the best one so far. I'm gonna have to go pick the box back up. I'm sorry, warm kiss, my warm kiss, but honestly, this is just an awful box. This smells like a cheap blue fragrance. Emphasis on cheap. It's like a very ambroxony kind of shower gel vibe. Mm, maybe vaguely reminiscent of uh, like a, a really bad blue de Chanel. There we go, nice. Warm kiss, garbage Blue de Chanel. If you wanna get a cheap smelling Blue de Chanel clone that looks like a Mr. Burberry's bastard child, there you go. Let's see, uh, CEO Poor Ohm up next, yes. A lot of these fragrances have instructions printed on them and uh, they're pretty, pretty rough. Oh, is this like uh, leakage or is this just how it looks? See the uh, box here has like an interesting pattern. Yeah, CEO baby. Obvious uh, Hugo Boss the scent bottle style here. And yes, it looks a lot cheaper and you can tell right away that it is cheaper, but you know, it looks better than this guy over here. Let's see how CEO smells. Yeah, like a, smells like a dollar store fragrance. Essential oil manufactured in UK, designed in USA, made in PRC. Lovali Fragrances, Los Angeles, California. Looks like uh, Lovali makes fragrances that are sold uh, at Timu and they have some on walmart.com. So I guess I was right when I talked about that stuff earlier. Lovali. This is probably the, oh, Warm Kiss is awful now. Ooh, that evaporated and, and turned into something cheap earthy. This is the best one so far. It smells dusty, green, slightly fresh. Like they're trying to do the Maninka from uh, the scent, but 
not quite getting it. After that, let's do black as black for men. This should be Carolina Herrera clone, or that's the expectation. At least the cellophane comes off. Ooh. Or actually, maybe that's code. I don't know. Um, I would guess Carolina Herrera. Black is black. Kind of looks more like code to me, though. So yeah, may maybe it's actually code. Maybe it's not Herrera. That would make more sense instead of 212 VIP black. Oh, God, that's awful. Ugh. Ugh. Rubbing alcohol pizza dough that has been sat out for too long and is like inflated and you can like poke it <laughs> and pop the pizza dough almost because it's just yeasted out. This smells cheaper than cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. If you spray this on your skin, you're asking for skin cancer. You asked for it. I asked for it. This is really stupid. Stupidly awful. Disgusting. Oh, it's so bad. How could you make that? It's just aggressively like the cheapest thing that you could ever make. And to put that out there and be like, hey, spray this on your skin, you'll smell great. Like, what a douchebag. Ouch. Ugh. CEO is the best so far, it ain't close. Ah, oh, we have so many more to go. Let's do this one. They don't even bother to wrap it. They just slap this sticker right on the front there. Hannah's Secret, bright blue, fragrance, it says. It's got just this sticker slapped over the back. I'm assuming translation because the back is probably in Chinese. Hello, look at that. Obvious light blue clone here, but now this is bright blue. Oh, and the, the flanker name is Beautiful Scenery. So it's bright blue beautiful scenery. That's really good because you don't want to get too specific. You know, you don't want to be talking about a specific place or anything like that. You don't want to name your flanker after like, I don't know, an island or a beach or an area. No, nah, you just want beautiful scenery. Uh, that's so much better. <sighs> Windex. Windex. That that's this is just friggin' Windex in a bottle. Is that Windex? That's why the color is like this. This is just straight up Windex. This is friggin' awful. Oh God, Jesus, seven more to go. Oh God, oh. One billion, because one million is not enough. No, <laughs> you gotta have one billion. Oh, this is Lavalli again, great. Oh! Ah, sweet, joke's on you Lavalli. I'm gonna come out with a clone and call it one trillion. It's gonna be so much better. There's a uh, good old one billion. Uh, since this is Lavalli, it's probably gonna be at least a, f a fragrance. You know, it's gonna smell at least like something mildly similar to a fragrance. I always get a little antsy when I see that, <laughs> where they don't even bother to cover up the crimp. They're just like, ah, oh, dude, what? How much did that cost per bottle to put the little cover over the crimp? Oh. Two extra cents per bottle? Mm, I don't think we can splurge on that. We don't have the budget for that. Anytime I see that, I'm just like, oh God. Unless it's Dracar Noir, then it's okay. He's different. It sucks. Oh, it sucks. But it's better than like everything else. It's, um, yeah, it's not really one million. I don't know. It's like this vague mishmash of a bunch of crap. You know, it's like mild vanilla with powder and nothingness. Savagery, savagery, let's do that one. Savagery for Ulm. Here's the weird thing about this one, just even feeling it. Uh, the box size is like Sauvage 100 mil box size, right? And you pick it up and it's really lightweight. And then there's just so much empty space in here, both up and down and side to side because they put a 50 mil bottle in there. So you've got this 100 mil box with nothing holding the bottle in and it just feels really cheap and lightweight. So it looks like it should weigh a certain amount. You pick it up and you're like, oh, what, what is going on here? Savagery, poor Ohm. Uh, on the back here, you got a nice Photoshop picture with a little savagery in the, in the side there. This is by Luca Perfume. Luca Perfume. Like I said, there's, there's nothing in there. It's just um, open space. So your little tiny dinky savagery bottle can get knocked around in there. Looks like a cheap Sauvage. I imagine it will smell like a cheap Sauvage. That cap does not want to come off. Let's see if savagery. Atomizer's not too bad. It's, it's weird. It's not pressurized, but it feels okay. Oh God, cap will not stay on or, or get on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, if Savage were a person, 
right? You would see Sauvage, very popular, because obviously Sauvage is very popular, right? And then this would be Sauvage's little brother or something. He's my brother. And you would be like, oh, there's, uh, there's something wrong with him. There's uh, something that is not right there. This is, this is like that. You smell it and you go, oh, it's like a Sauvage mixed with dishwater. Yeah, Sauvage mixed with dishwater and just rusted stainless steel. Can stainless steel rust rusted steel? Yeah, it's garbage. I don't wanna spray any of this on my skin. But I'm sure this one will be good because it's called Sexy Man Parfum. It's gotta be good, it's called Sexy Man. It does say on the back to discontinue use if uh, rashes show up after you spray it, which actually with these, that, that could be an issue. We got that cellophane issue again here. Nah, it's stuck. I don't know if you can see it from where you are there, but you see how the, the cellophane is kind of like ripped right here. It's just stuck to the box. It's, it's another one of those deals where the cellophane, it ain't coming off. Sexy man. I like how they put Paris at the bottom there uh, because we make the rules, pal. People are really gonna believe that, you know? It's really gonna help sell your fragrance. You're gonna look at it, it's all cheap and crappy. The cellophane is stuck to the box because uh, again, it's cheap cellophane, which if you're cheaping out on the cellophane that much, then you know what's going on in here, but all this other crap going on, it just looks awful. This looks awful. It's called, again, Sexy Man. But then you see Paris in big letters there at the bottom and you go, oh my God. My mind is blown. I'll take 20. Sexy Man Parfum Paris. I must make, you make it good, right? It must be good. These are really, 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 really awful. I don't know why I expected anything else, but they truly are god awful. Oh, oh, that's gross. It, it smells like there's something rotting in that. Jeez, it's so nasty. Oh, oh, there's something wrong with that. There's like a rotting funk to it. Like fruit that has set out for too long and is now just mush and you just touch it and it kind of falls into a congealed mess. And it's got this weird, what used to be sweetness mixing with just rotting death. That is awful. Let's do this thing. I'm so excited. I can just tell by looking at this stupid cellophane that it's, it's the, it has a certain look to it. So you look at the cellophane and you can just tell right away, it's like, it's going to evaporate into tiny pieces. It's gonna be suctioned to the box. It's just not worth it. Not worth the headache. This one looks like a little uh, <laughs> dirty English. Uh, but what I liked about this one, and I think this is my favorite presentation of any of these, this, look at that. Look at that medallion, sick. It's got a little one piece medallion. Everything else looks awful, but that's legitimately why I bought this, because of that. So, yeah, it's actually not a good reason to buy something. All right, do you smell like dirty English? It's another one that smells like hairspray. It smells like your mom's hairspray from the 80s or something. It's friggin' awful. But at one piece, now I got two of these, okay? Blue de Chavank and Blue de Ying Huangjia. Is that a Chinese flamethrower? Not Blue de Chanel, no. These are the real blues. Blue de Chavank. Shavank? I don't know. And then blue to Ying Huang Xia. I just wanted to say that again. So I guess we'll just see which of these blues is better. I guess that's what we'll do with these. You know, bottle wise, this is probably one of the best looking ones so far. Probably, oh no, cellophane again. Facing my fear, I'm facing my fear. Probably this one and what? This little guy over here. Probably the best looking ones. It's not saying much. This is like a, like a beauty contest, a beauty pageant for the ugliest people on the planet, trying to make them feel a little bit better. To look ugly, you have to feel ugly. You win the most beautiful fragrance bottle of the ones that were here award. Well, personally, I didn't vote him the ugliest. Wow, really? Thanks. Hmm. So blue to Shavink is a little bit heavier. Blue to Hing Huang Jia, I think actually looks a little closer. You know, the, the type there is a little bit better. The type the font. All right, let's see if we got some blue fragrance gems. I know we don't. I'm not expecting anything here other than be enormously disappointed, even though I'm already extremely disappointed. So I don't know how it could get worse, but it will. Oh, that's rough. Oh, good. They're both garbage. They both suck. I'm going blue to Ying Huang Xia. That, that definitely is the better of the two. So me think, why waste time? Say lot word when few word do trick. This one has that very familiar hairspray smell at this point. Just that chemical concoction, you know, a potion of death. The other one is garbage too, but it smells like they tried to pretend like there was a citrus in there. I knew this was gonna happen. Last, but probably not least, weekend men. For when you wanna go to Ralph's club, 
and you want to be a weekend man. Saturdays are for the boys. Once again, awful saran wrap, saran wrap, it doesn't matter. <laughs> awful wrap. Weekend men. <laughs> hey, I think we got the best presentation right here. It looks pretty bad. It feels pretty cheap, but they got a little thing that does that. All right, weekend men, let's see. Best for last. Come on, give me something to work with here. That is the wiener, baby. That's definitely the best one here. Weekend men, ah, oh, you devil dog. From Polishi Perfume, Polishi Perfume. Uh, usage, apply perfume to pulse points of the wrists and ears. Right, the pulse points of your ears. Just That's the best thing here. It, it smells almost like a real fragrance that you could wear. I'm probably jaded at this point because I've smelled all this, like, so anything that's not uh, sewer water is going to smell like appealing at this point. So I think my nose is busted to be fair. It's not really good, but it does have um, almost sort of that kind of uh, sweet amber woody thing going on, like sweet sage and uh, apple. Let's do a quick run through again of all these, see if anything has uh, changed. If any have gotten better, potpourri. Oh, awful. Mothballs mixed with dirt. Mmm, dirty watermelon. But it, it smells better than the others. Trash. Uh, just friggin' assaulting. It's, uh, I would rather wear Windex and Lysol. One billion. Really horrifically cheap, powdery one million. Yeah. Savagery. Ugh. It smells like Sauvage mixed with mineral dirt with the earthworm still in there. Sexy man, pretty much gone. Yeah, that stuff is just the why. And this guy with the one piece thing, Windex, blue to shavins, whatever. Ooh, really nasty. Mm, bananas, rotting bananas mixed with shower gel. And the other one, mm, just a really inexpensive shower gel. So better than that. And then weekend men, almost smells like a fragrance. That's the best one. This is the best one. It's not close. Uh, it's the, I, I don't recommend any of them, but it's the only one where when I smell it, it smells like it's almost competently done. There we go, baby. We did them all. Uh, Eelho is one of the worst. I was going to say the worst, but no, they all, they all suck. If you are thinking buying fragrances on Timu, first off, shame on you. Yeah, I know they're six, seven, eight, nine dollars. There's a reason. They are unbelievably awful. <laughs> if you wear any of these, why? What are you doing? Wear Axe. Wear Axe body spray over this. It will be better. There, like, there's nothing legitimate that could be as bad as this. And when I say legitimate, I mean like from a company that's not actively trying to kill you. These are actively trying to kill you. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if we, if we examine what's in here, mm, I'm out of here. Uh, don't shop on Timu for fragrances.